guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a fabulous day. So glad to be able to spend a little time with y'all this morning. And just let me say, I appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate y'all for all the support that you guys have given me throughout this last year and a half, two years. Uh, when I started this journey, I went into it um, with one thing in focus and that's because I was so into watching social media and all that and my focus at that time was just getting followers, getting followers, getting followers, getting views, getting likes and hearts and all this stuff. Now I sit down and talk to you guys two years later and it's just about me. It's about how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. It doesn't matter to me if I get a follower or I'm getting likes or anything like that, but whoever is out there supporting me and watching my videos, I do appreciate it because you don't have to give me your time. So I appreciate that and I just wanted to say thank you to all my, all of Granny's um, fans out there, okay? All right, guys, you know, I was sitting here earlier and I was thinking about, um, you know, just self-care, taking care of my mind, my soul, my spirit, just trying to be in a better place. And, you know, when I got up this morning, I just, I, I just got up, I said my prayers, and then I just went and sit in the bathroom because that's probably really quiet for me. And um, I just sit there and, you know, just meditating and just, just thanking God for everything that he has done for me and just breathing breath into my body every morning and uh, waking me up, waking me up to see another day in a, in the, in the, in a, in a, in a sound body. And, you know, so I was sitting there thinking about all that and Brittany Griner name popped in my head. You guys know Brittany Griner. She's the NBA in women's NWBA. Um, basketball player that went um, like in February I believe last year over to Russia to make some extra money playing ball over there and of course she got uh, detained because she had some some uh, HBA or that oil or whatever it is that yeah she had some of that in there and stuff so I was sitting there thinking about her because a few days ago they went ahead and uh, implemented her her um, her sentence to go to the labor camp. You know, she was sentenced to nine years for taking this um, drug over to Russia. And, you know, she's been at the detained center, I guess you can call it, ever since uh, she got arrested back in February. But a week, or, last week or so, I saw on the news that they was getting ready to transfer her to the labor camp. And I was sitting there thinking like, oh my God, I, I, I could never even imagine what she's going through, you know, what's going through her mind, how her mindset is, and how she's going to um, be able to survive, you know, being in a foreign country and being in their uh, prison system is definitely not like being in the United States, being in the, in the prison system. It's totally different, and we all know that. We've heard stories, we read about it, we've seen it on the news, how they torture their um, prisoners. They're basically not even treated like a human being, and they, you know, work them, um, like really hard labor work, and it's without, sometimes without uh, breaks, without getting water, without getting food. And um, I was just thinking about her and I found myself just really stopped praying for myself and started praying for her um, that she's able to survive this and God give her the script and he be with her daily and cover her with his love and spirit and give her a clear mind and to, um, to make it through each day and not just, just go crazy and just, just really freak out because of this whole incident. And I know that's easier than said, um, and it's gonna take a lot of prayers, you know, for her, but I'm like, um, you know, God only puts as much on us that he know we can handle. And that's a cliche as they say, 
and it's easier for us sitting over here to say little remarks and cliches like that because we're not in her situation. But uh, I do truly believe that prayer work and I truly believe everything in your life happens for a reason. Uh, rather we see it at the time. I don't know what reason why this happened to her. I don't know what she's going to get out of this or, you know, how she's going to take this lesson and learn from it. I don't know because she's probably not thinking about any of that. All she's probably thinking about is surviving and making it through. Uh, I do know that they're supposed to be still working on getting her and the other gentleman out through a trade. They're, they're willing to give up a murder to let him go back over there to get Brittany and this other gentleman out. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's another thing that, um, you know, it's another reason for us to sit back and look at how blessed we are. Even though the United States has definitely has its up and downs and there's a lot of things that's going on here in the United States that we do not agree with or we feel like doesn't make any damn sense to us. But uh, we, are, we are truly blessed when it comes to other countries and their policies and their procedures and their, their um, law enforcement um, system and how they um, run their country. We are blessed, you know, to a certain extent. And I pray that Brittany, um, I pray that she just make it day by day, um, hour by hour because it's not even a make it to your nine years. It's going to be a make it to, make it hour by hour, minute by minute, by minute hour by hour, day by day. Because, you know, um, this is something new to her. And being in there for the last, what, seven months, eight months, I'm sure she's had time to think about this whole situation and think what she could have done differently. Not that it's going to change anything because it is what it is at this point. She is right smack in the middle of this situation and nothing she can do on her behalf right now alone that's going to change the situation. She basically has to depend on the United States and our government system to help her get out of this situation. And, you know, it's nothing she can do. And it's, it's I, I would imagine it's pretty, pretty hard and pretty sad and depressing to be in a situation like what she's in, knowing your life basically depends on other people and what they decide to do. And it's nothing you can do to change the situation. Yes, you can talk to the lawyers over there and you can talk to the jury or panels or whatever they call their, their people that makes these decisions, these sentences and stuff. She can definitely talk to them and voice her opinion and she can apologize, 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 and apologize. But as we have seen up to this point, her apologies is definitely just going unheard. You know, they, they, they're, so they're listening to what she's saying and they're taking in consideration what she's saying, but it's not going to make a difference one way or the other. And that's, that's already been shown, you know. So as I get up each day and able to sit back and meditate good things and positive things and not think about, you know, I'm, I'm locked up behind these bars in a whole different country, I don't know what's coming. I don't know what my faith is. Um, I have to just be thankful. I have to just say thank you, God, and um, and then pray for her that she's able to sustain this. This you know, get past this situation, come back to the United States, come back to her family, healthy and in the right state of mind. Because this is mentally mentally going to drain her. You know, I don't really care what anyone say. These are my opinion, but I, I don't know how she could spend this much time behind those bars over there and not 
let it melt drain her. You know, it's probably taking everything in her to just stay sane, to just stay in a good space in her head because all kind of things, but I, I, I would imagine it's going through her head. Like, what is this? What is this? What's going to happen when I get here? How's this place going to be? Can I even handle this? It's a lot. It's a lot that Brittany's having to go through. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Um, I just pray. I pray and that she's um, able to come through this because we're on the outside looking in. You know, her family is dealing with this. She's dealing with this. But we're on the outside getting little bits and pieces here and there from the news. And, you know, they'll throw a little bit out here. And, you know, and then they'll always say at the end, but the United States, uh, uh, Biden and his administration, they're still working on trying to come up with a deal to get her free. You know, but we're not going through that because it's just as hard on her family as it is her. Because you, you got to know that they're worried about her. How can you not worry about your loved one that's over there going through that? How could you not? How could you not be stressing out? I don't know. Mm -mm. But that's what I was, that's what, that's what popped in my head this morning when I was sitting meditating and getting myself ready to, to begin my day and just, -ah, you know, just kind of, mm, you know, I'm able to get up, I'm able to meditate, I'm able to take a hot shower, I'm able to drink a hot cup of coffee when I want to, I'm able to turn on my TV and watch TV and watch the news, I'm able to walk around my house freely. Uh, you know, these are all the things that I am entitled to, and I mean, not entitled to, but have the ability to do and freedom to do, and someone like Brittany is over there, you know, trying her best to just survive each minute of the day it's it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy you know but i just wanted to throw it out there and I, I just you know we're right here at the holiday season and she's not going to be home with her with her family during the holiday we like a week out from thanksgiving and she's over there trying to survive and trying to keep her mindset you know as 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 stable as possible and we're here getting ready to celebrate the holidays you know, her family is not going to be able to cel celebrate the holidays the way they normally would because Brittany is, is over there in this situation. So all these kind of things, sometimes I sit back and I think about stuff like that. And once again, you know, just, just looking at how blessed I am. I'm not speaking for anyone else, but how blessed I am that I have all my family around me and uh, safe. But, you know, anything can happen and that can, all that can change in a second. So you have to you know, take it, take it, take every moment as it comes. You have to take it and be grateful uh, for the moments, you know, and, and I'm sure she's grateful for every moment that she wakes up in this place, in this situation. I'm sure she's blessed that she's able to come through each day and have a little smile on her face and, and be thankful that she made it through another day, okay? All right, that's all I wanted to say. But uh, my prayers go out to Brittany um, during this holiday season and her and her family that they, you know, just survive this holiday season and hopefully within the next few months or so they can get her out of there. She will be a year, I think, in come February. Okay, all right, guys, I'm about to get out of here. Be kind to everybody. If you don't have anything positive to say, don't say anything. Keep it to yourself. And guys, just have a great day. Grandma's going to check you out next time around.